Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jenny, and today we're gonna have another science read aloud. And the read aloud for today is Robot Stop. This story is about a robot who goes crazy. So let's begin. My dad is an inventor, and he's building a machine. It's kind of a housework robot to keep my bedroom clean. You know something? I always wanted a robot, so this is really cool. So let's move on. When I go up to the bed at night. Dad goes to the cellar to work with his nuts and bolts and things and build his robot fella. Oh my god, that must be so much work and that must be very, very heavy. And after he puts that down, he has to pick all those other things up. Uh, that's so much work. Anyway, let's move on. My mom is so exciting and she says she that she can't wait. A robot chef to wash and clean, it's gonna be great. Let's see what's the mom's imagination. So she's like... She's just going to relax in the couch and the robot's going to do all the stuff in the house. That's pretty good for this mom because, you know, moms are very hardworking. Anyway, let's move on. The next day, as the sun comes up, I'm woken by a vroom. Something is strange and silver is tidying up my room. I think this is the robot. That's so cool. I rub my eyes and I can't believe it's picking up my blocks and toys I left on the floor. Even smelly socks. Ew, that must stink. When my room is finished and look rather neat, my dad says, Come here, Robbie. There's someone you should meet. I think it's the robot. Robbie, meet our robot. Built in my workshop. It cooks, it cleans, and sweeps the floor. Till I shout, Robot, stop! So it will just do all the work in the house until someone says, Robot, stop! That's so cool. Most robots um, just don't do the work. So this is a very great robot. Anyway, let's move on. So I got dressed and followed it to see what it could do. It washed up all the saucepans and made them look brand new. That's so cool. When you're buying something from the shop, it looks so beautiful. And after you use it, it won't look that beautiful. This robot can make it look as beautiful as it looked before when you just bought it. So let's move on. Dad's robot cleaned the entire house. Wow. From the bottom to the top. And when the jobs had all been done, Dad shouted, Robot, stop! The robot stopped on Dad's command and it parked up by the stairs. I really love our metal friend. He's the answer to all our prayers. The night in the bed, an idea came. It sounded really cool. I'll dress the robot up like me and send it off to school. That is not cool. You're going to make the robot study instead and you're just going to play. That's not cool at all. So late that night when it got dark with mom and dad in bed, I dressed the robot in my clothes and put a cap upon his head. Well, I'm pretty sure everyone will know that that is literally a robot instead of this guy. Next day, my plan was working, huh? And mom just didn't see. Maybe it's just her mom. As we left to walk to school, she waved to robot me. Weird. Now off you go, nice robot, and please work hard at school. Real Robbie is off skateboarding. This plan is really cool. It's not. Anyway, let's just move on. The robot zoomed off his own way and stomped right through a puddle. Oh no, that's very bad because whenever a robot gets in touch with water, yep, that robot is going haywires, the water splashed on his control and sent him in a muddle. I told you. As robot uh, Robbie reached the school, all dizzy seeing stars, he smashed straight through the playground fence. I told you this is way a bad idea. And squished the teacher's cars. Now he's in trouble, if they know it was Robbie. But they will still, he will still get in trouble because his father will know. The children shouted, Robbie, no! They didn't realize this techno Robbie look alike was a robot in disguise. Dude, why are these people so dumb? Can't you see? It's a robot. A robot, not Robbie. He's way taller than Robbie. Anyway, let's just move on. The robot smashed the classroom wall and started munching books. It sucked up chairs and desks and pens, even the coat hooks. 
Um, that is not good. The headmaster telephoned my dad. Come quickly, you're in trouble. Your son's gone mad. He's lost control. He'll turn the school to a rubble. Dude, it's a robot. Why would he? Why would the Robbie eat uh, some books and pens? And would he even break the fence? Anyway, let's just move on. Then in his car, um, on on his way, Dad spot me having fun. Oh dear, he's in trouble. You better jump in, uh, you naughty boy. There's explaining to be done. So I sit and tell my dad the truth about the silly plan. I told him it was a silly plan of sending robot off to school and how it all began. Yep, it's such a disaster. When we arrived outside the school, it was quite an awful sight. Quite an awful sight? This is chaos. Our robots made a frightful mess. It's time to put things right. So, with a deep breath, my dad and I gave an enormous shout, Robot, stop! And all at once, his big round eyes go out. Phew! So, what happened to our robot? Well, it's on display at home. Oh dear, this robot's in trouble. His pride of our place outside our door. Oh, he's used as a decoration. Our techno garden gnome. I see everyone is now happy. The school is better and the family has a new garden gnome. Anyway, that's the end of the story. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video, and hit this smashing passing like button. And if you want to know more, um, if you want to know if there's more videos coming up, please hit the notification bell to all. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.